Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is um, my Inkwell Press fitness update. It is week two and sorry for the crazy hair and no makeup and whatnot, but my husband and I just got back from our, our three mile walk, which a three mile walk for me is a pretty good walk because I don't do a whole lot of walking because I am in the house with my daughter. So we do go walking probably twice a day, but it's not, it's not a mile each time. We do a few laps around the apartment, we come back in because it's really hot out. So today we went to a wooded area and went through um, on the bike path, so that was really nice. Um, this week's results have been pretty good. I am down over two pounds this week, and I did not eat more than my cow, more than I was supposed to eat, I think all week. There might have been one day where I ate ate more than 1300 calories but I don't really think there might there was so but we'll we'll check that out in a second so anyway I guess I'm down to, um, a little over two pounds um, my goal this week was to go to the track twice this week but I did not go at all instead I went to a body boost class on Wednesday and it kicked my butt I mean I was sore to the point where I couldn't even pick up my own legs for two days so on Friday I tried to walk it out at the path we did three miles on Friday and then three miles today so I kind of um, going to give myself some lenience there I'm going to go outside to like the track or um, the bike paths twice a week instead of just committing to doing the stairs twice a week I'm going to try to get out and either do three miles or the stairs twice a week or back and forth it doesn't really matter so um, I think I ate pretty well this week um, I could have done better but overall really wasn't bad choices um, the only problem that I have is when I make my husband's lunch my husband comes home for lunch and he's only home for just like 20 25 minutes so I kind of have to like get things together quickly so I try to make his lunch before he comes home well he always eats Doritos or Cheetos with a sandwich so I don't know what it is, I just cannot refuse them, and I'll like sneak a few here or there, or if my daughter doesn't eat all of her food, I'm like getting a bite here or there, but I think that's because I don't feel like I'm full in the evenings, I don't feel like I had a nice hearty meal, so today we went grocery shopping, and I kind of just took some time, did some research last night, and um, I ended up buying a lot of the Healthy Choice um, freezer meals, and I did this because they're like 150 calories or 250 calories which is pretty good and they're no nice and warm and I feel like I just need that before I go to bed. I need to feel like I didn't starve myself all day and I need to feel like I had a decent meal. So I picked some of those up. I probably got about 10 of them. I don't plan to eat them every day but if I feel like I need them then I'm going to eat them and that's just what's going to happen. So um, I'm going to be making Brett and Annalise dinner separately than my own for most of the week. So I'm going to see if I can knock myself down about another pound, pound and a half this coming week so I'm really gonna up my workout but anyway we're just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna point the camera down to my fitness planner for you guys to show you guys what I've been eating kind of my exercises and how this is going so far um, you know I was really put off at the very beginning because I tried to lose uh, tried really hard what I thought was really hard to lose weight and I didn't like I think I even gained a pound or two from the beginning um, and I've been working on this for more than two weeks but I just started my fitness planner um, two weeks ago so I'm officially starting my 12 week um, workout process or weight loss process when I started my fitness planner so but before that I didn't have it and I was tracking a different way on my phone with my Fitbit app and um, I was just gaining weight I wasn't losing anything I wasn't motivated it was just ugh. I wish that my husband understood because he doesn't because he's skinny he's 155 pounds five foot nine or eleven something of the sorts but <laughs> anyway he's just like he doesn't get why it's so hard for me to lose weight he doesn't understand why I can't just eat what I want he doesn't understand how it's hard not to eat what you want and how it takes like discipline and motivation and he just doesn't get it and sometimes it's really frustrating to me but I just have to concentrate on myself not worry about him just do me and huh, so yeah so anyway let's just jump into the fitness planner and I will show you guys what has gone on this past week okay here is the fitness planner I'm gonna go ahead and flip to this week um, let's go back to Monday 
So yes, I had my check-in with my weight. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and be honest with you guys. I'm 189.8 pounds. Um, I kind of did, did and set my goals for this week. Like I said, my week, my um, goal was to go to the track two days a week. Um, and I didn't go at all this week, but I did do my three-mile walk and my body boosting class. Um, next, and then uh, for this week, I was supposed to pick healthier snack choices and no snacking after dinner. And I did very good at not snacking after dinner, but my snack choices when I did snack were not the best. Um, so anyway, this is what my weeks were looking like. I did a lot of lifting through the beginning of the week, and then I did um, I did a some walking. I did my... Actually, this was a run. I did a run, which it takes me a long time to do a mile for running. I don't know what my deal is, but my husband, I always tell my husband how fast I run. And he's like, your run is my walk. So, <laughs> so that's probably why it takes me so long. So anyway, and then I have, um, I did my walk on Tuesday, just a small walk with my daughter. Uh, these check marks underneath are the days that I drink, um, it's eight ounces for each teardrop, and then when I run out of teardrops, I just start doing check mark boxes underneath. So anyway, I eat um, either granola and yogurt or cinnamon life for breakfast, and then in the evening it just kind of depends. Um, so Monday I had 211 calories left over. On Tuesday I had 236 calories left over. On Wednesday I had 440 calories left over. And on Thursday, I had about 150 calories left over. So, um, it's pretty good overall. Um, Wednesday was my body boosting class, which I came out with um, over 11,000 steps that day, which was 5.2 miles and 83 active minutes. So, that was pretty good. Um, I didn't fill in my Fitbit for all of the days, but anyway, yeah, Thursday, I was like so sore. My legs are killing me. It was hard to, like, I just could not even lift them and I did a step workout at home and oh my god I could not even take it it was my legs were about to melt off my body so on Friday and Saturday I was on Friday I ate um, 165 calories more than I was supposed to and that is because I ate Wendy's for dinner and my husband had CQ duty which means he is at work for 24 hours so he did not come home for dinner and I actually went to a Billy Currington concert on, on post for free with my friend and I stopped on the way to get Wendy's and I thought I was going to be under calories but I ended up I wanted a medium drink I wanted a small drink and they messed it up and gave me a medium so of course I was like oh, okay well I got it for free I'm gonna drink it and that's what I did so I paid for it in calories but it's alright it's okay <laughs> Saturday um, I don't believe oh yeah Friday was um, the other three mile walk which turned into 91 active minutes total for the day and over 15,000 steps um, Saturday I didn't do any walking or any weight training um, we went to the store and we went to the store again today because we forgot some stuff but anyway we went to the store and then I came home and took a nap and then we got up and went to our friend's house to go swimming so I guess I did do some exercise swimming but um, that was about it and I had subway for dinner and I still had one calorie left after dinner so today is Sunday I ate the rest of my subway for lunch I'm Let's calculate how many calories I have left. I had yogurt, granola, and strawberries for breakfast, and then Subway and my chips for lunch. Okay, I have 563 calories left, which one of my meals that I'm going to be eating tonight is 250, so that leaves me with 250 calories. Now, I have these um, frozen lemon um like ice cream treats that are 100 calories a piece so sometimes in the evening if I feel like I just want something you know how you get the munchies sometimes when I get the munchies I just eat one of those so it's not horrible but obviously if I cut that kind of stuff out I might do just a little bit better I haven't filled in my water for the day yet um, but anyway so for this week I'm not going to do my weight just yet because it is Sunday and I weigh actually weigh in tomorrow I don't weigh in today, but I am going to go ahead and pull out my stickers for, it's just a scale, if I can find it. Oh, 
Okay, I'm just going to pull off a little scale that I stick up here and I'll write my weight on here tomorrow morning. But I'm going to go ahead and fill this stuff out with you guys and set some goals for next week. Please excuse the fire trucks. And there they go. Okay, um, this week I would say that I felt great. I felt like I did some really good workouts. And this is so, like, weird to me. So, first of all, as far as workouts go, when they ask you how this week felt for workouts, are you supposed to answer, like, oh, it sucked because I kicked my own butt during my workout? Or, oh, yeah, it was great because I didn't do anything. So, <laughs> I don't know. I try to answer it as if... Do I think that I did a good job working out, not did it kill me during my workouts? <laughs> so, um, I think I did pretty good this week during workouts. There, I skipped Saturday, so I don't think I did the best. I could have ran stairs or something yesterday, but I think it's okay to take a day off or two. Did I meet my goals? We're going to go back to last week and check my goals just one more time. Um, no snacking after dinner and packing healthier snacks. And I'm going to go ahead and say, kinda because I did not, I'm going to write underneath of it, didn't eat healthier snacks. And then the good news, the good news is as of Sunday, morning, I'm under a little over two pounds. Okay, so we're going to do the exact weight. So last week, okay, so last week I was 189.8 on Monday. I weighed myself this morning and I was 186.2 which is actually three pounds and six ounces. Um, so that was really good. I'm just gonna write 3.6. That was kind of excessive, but you know, we'll see what it is in the morning. It might not be as much because I did eat Subway for lunch, but we will see. But either way, it's okay, one day at a time. Okay, the not so good news is, let's think of something that was not very good this week. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go with, I did not drink all of my water. Okay, so the not so good news is I did not drink all of my water for every day, and I forgot most of my pills, almost every day. I forgot my pills almost every day. So this week, next, yeah, this coming week, we're going to focus on taking all my pills. And drinking all my water. Okay, so I really can't wait to get started on this week. I'm really nervous because um, we've got two more weeks left and then we do our measurements. And oh my gosh, I cannot tell you how much I'm dreading my, my measurements. But <sighs> we'll see, we'll see. So anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll be doing another weigh in, and I call I'm going to be calling these videos weigh in Wednesday because they will be going up on Wednesdays. But technically, um, I weigh in on Sunday nights. But the reason I do it on Wednesdays is because on Mondays I post my um, plan with me videos. I don't like to overload everybody, so I try to spread them out through a few days. So Monday is my plan with me videos. Wednesday will be my Wednesday weigh ins. So. And that will just be my Wednesday check-in with you all. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And I would love to hear about your guys' workout journeys and what you're doing to keep track of them. If you're interested, you can leave those in the comments below. Um, 
and I always try my best to reply to everybody. Sometimes it might take me a day or two before I can sit down and go through everything so I can reply, but... But anyway, so that is what's going on with me. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you later. Bye.